Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model some uh, sh uh, thing shell roofs okay, like this one. Okay, so let's start. Oh, this is uh, roughly what we are going to get. So it's actually a parametric we can. Uh, we're going to model a parametric max to create this shape so we can just create roof on top of that mass okay so let's start so first so create let's create a a mass family okay so first let's go to floor plan so we're going to place a, a, a reference circle so from this center point okay so and then create a radius so and let's create a radius r so r1 this will be the radius of the the base okay so the, the radius of the base so now let's go to uh, elevation so let's go to south elevation rp reference plan di dimension so now this will be the height okay so height instance and okay so um well actually we need two heights so this will be let's create another reference plan so because if you look at this so there's a, a height in the middle and also the height the on the on this uh, edge of the roof okay so so this will be the Let's call it H1. H, let's rename it H1 and another dimension. Uh, this one will be H2. So um, in here, I'm, I'm using reference plan. You can also use a point and and a point with offset. It's a it's the same. Okay. So now let's go to uh, actually, we can do it in 3D view. Let's go to 3D view. So, because you can see all the reference, this is a mass. You can see all the reference plan in 3D view. Okay, we have one circle here, and so what we're going to do is we need a, we need the 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 circle at the top. Okay, so now we set work plan. Pick this reference plan and we are going to draw another reference circle so we find the middle point here yep okay so draw another one create a radius so this one will be let's call it r2 instance okay okay so now uh let's select the the smaller the base uh, circle and use divide power so in this model i guess it's one two three four looks like uh, another two maybe so let's make it six okay six so yeah six so you will see this a six number so one two three four five six and then select this uh the top circle divide power and because we need to pick the one those uh, uh how actually looks like yeah that looks like the point just sit uh, in the the place uh, in the middle of this so that's exactly what we need that's great but if if you found that you your point is sitting um just just same to the 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 smaller circle you you can what you can do is you can just talk, uh, double the points and then you will have another point so eventually you will have you will be able to create this okay so we need to, these splines so we need the points sitting in the middle of this smaller circle but in this case i'm not sure why <laughs> so yeah which is good so which means we can just use six we don't need to uh have twelve point but that's okay so let's now place some point okay so you can you can directly draw reference line use a spline through point so oh sorry uh, you, you need to use draw on face so one two three but 
I don't like to uh, because if I draw another one, I will have two points in one place. I don't like to have this, so I prefer to just place point points. So one, two, and then select these three points and create a spline. Make it reference spline. Oops, sorry. Uh, looks like. Uh, okay, let's control Z. Uh, when this happens, um, maybe we can, what we can do is we can reduce the distance between this circle and this circle. So what I'm going to do is I'll um, let me just reduce the the H two. So I'll just change this to I'll reduce the, and also I'll increase this R one maybe. So um, make it uh, close to so so make these points uh, the middle points close to um, close to, to these points um, how do I say um, yeah because when these two the, the two points are on this smaller circle. Uh, too close to each other, so it will create some. You know, it will go instead of go up and down, it will go across and then up. Okay, so now let's try so create. Yeah, so all good. And then let's just place all the points. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now let's create the rest of the. Spline. We can go to the top, so it's probably easier. So one, two, three, spline. One, two, three, spline. One, two, three, spline. And one, two, three, spline. And then select all of them, make them reference line. Okay, so now we can uh, we can place this back. So um, let's just uh, just make it thirty meter high. So yep, no good. So now um, we need to place because this shape we this is a continuous curve so uh, maybe or not this, this one this one so you will see go start from here and go down go down and go down go down go up go up go up there so we will need another profile in the middle okay so. So now what we're going to do is I'll place one point and I'm going to also oh set work plan. This time I'll pick this. So this will be the middle height. So, so I'll pick this reference plan and then I'm going to draw our work plan and place a point in the middle. So here. Okay, so now you will see this point sitting in the middle on this reference plan. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just connect these points. So let me just go back to top again. Connect these points. So create some reference line, and we can place a uh, place point. Oh hell! Uh, this one go there, here. This one go here. Spline, um, and then this one go here, and this one go here, and and this one, this this one. Okay, so now we have all these uh, uh, lines, and we make them reference line. Then we can place point. Okay, so type type SM snap middle point, so, and also you need to draw on face. Okay, so now you can SM 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 just snap all the mid mid points. So okay, so. Now, so you will see this is the profile here, right? And this is the profile on the other end. And then we just need to another profile in the middle, slightly lower. So it will be this one, this point, this point, and this point. So if I create a spline, that's it. So now let's go to the top. Uh, let's create all these. So one, two, three, spline, one, two, three. Spline, uh, uh, one, two. Oh, we already have that one. Yeah. And what else? Oh, that's it. All three of them. Okay. So make them reference style. And now, 
we can we can already create this shape I'll just show you so one two three create form okay but if if I do it this way so we will create three different curves that will be um, we won't be able to join them and so which means when we create when we later on create a roof on them it will be all um, three different roof and then you will have all you know these it will be um, so if you look at this there should be nothing in the middle but if if we do it this way use face you won't be able to you, you will need you will probably need to use some create some void to cut holes on this face okay so I, I don't want to do that so um, let me just control Z I'll show you some easier method okay so let's go to the top or maybe not top but let's uh, just do it in 3d view so what I'm going to do is instead of just use a, a spline I'm going to make a Oh, I'm going to make solid, which means we need a closed uh, uh, um, profile. Okay, so I'll just connect. So select all these points. So one, two, and create spline. Okay, one, two, two points, and spline, and another one, spline. So another one, spline. Okay, so and also the same the middle one so what oops sorry control z one two spline and this one this one spline and this one this one the spline so now and also we just need to make them all a uh, reference line okay so select all these uh, black color lines and check Okay, so now it's all they are all ribbon side. So now we can so select this one, select this line. So this is a, a closed a profile, right? And also this one, this one, and also the one in the middle. So you can just select select them. So now if I create form, so this is a solid form. Okay, a solid form. So let's repeat. So one, two. Um, where, 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 yeah, three, four, oh, oh, sorry, uh, maybe just a HH, <laughs> can't see it, one, two, three, four, five, six, create form, okay, and let's, uh, H, uh, hell, where, where's the other one, HR, oh, uh, the other one here, HH, HH, so we need another one here, so one, two, three four and five six okay so create form so this is the last one now hr so because they are solid we can join them so you use join so one two so okay now you will we will have some issue i'll show you okay so join and if i click this one and this one so this is what happened um I think it's probably because of all the curves you, you know when we have curve um, uh, what's the word tangent uh, to other curves so this is uh, this happens a lot so what I'm going to do is control Z and I'll just fudge it okay so I'll dissolve this I'm going to create a new one so I'll just HH this one, HH this one, HH. So for this one, I'm going to uh, select this curve. Help tab, tab this one. I'll dissolve this one. Instead of use one point, two point, three point, I'm going to place another point. So point, draw a work plan, set work plan, and pick the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on a point. So now I'm going to just um, slightly, so it looks like we need to just drag it. I'll just drag it up, which is negative. So I'll type in maybe negative five, five millimeter different. 
So now with this point selected, and then another one, two, and create a spline, really make it within sign. So very close to the previous one, only five, five millimeter difference. Okay, so one, once again, select all the reference signs, all the profiles, and create the solid. So now HR, so let's try join again. So join this one and this one. See, no problems. So that's it. So this is this is it. So now let's try the, the parameters. Okay, so if I um, change the H1, which is which is uh, which is the middle point, the height of the middle point, so 18 meter high, maybe you will see it go down. Okay, so H2 is this this height, so uh, maybe 32 goes up and radius so radius one is here so for example uh, let's make it 55 meter radius yeah so r2 is the radius of that one this one so 60 meter okay so maybe let's make it uh, 50 meter okay so let's click okay so this is the mass Okay, so this is the mass. Now we can create a project. And then load this mass into the project. Now just place it, uh, place it, um, yeah, place it here, just click once and then go to 3D view go to 3D view yeah so now you will see this is a mess okay you can still adjust the size here so if you select this mess so you will see all these parameters here and you can just place the roof roof by face and then just pick so you will see the shape because we join we joined all this shape so we can just place these uh, and just click on create roof okay so that's it I'll change to shade SD so you will see these other roof we just create so I'll just HH H the mass so that's it that's the roof okay so now of course you can um, you can create some so for example I'll just create a wall WA uh, maybe just curve a wall uh, uh, um, maybe maybe curved uh, like that like this okay so uh, I'm not sure maybe like this so let's have a look in 3D view where is it uh, here so let's see if we can attach the top yep Oh good, nice. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'll upload this family for you, so you can have a look. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.